Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day look. Kind of, I think, hopefully. We'll see how it turns out, but yeah, I'm gonna be using my Magnificent, what's it called? Oh, Magnifies Crimson Edition. It's by Rimmel London. And there's some nice pink shades in there, and then I might be mixing in some of my palette from CoverGirl. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure where it's gonna go, honestly. So, let's just get right into it. For priming my eyes, I'm going to be using my NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'll just take it on my finger and just to cancel out any redness and all the veins and stuff. And to set that, I'm gonna go into this CoverGirl palette and use the first really light shade. They don't have names, so yeah, just that cream shade. And I'll use it on a big fluffy brush, my MAC 224, and I'll just run it over everything from my lid all the way to my brow bone. That'll just make sure that the colors that I put down don't get patchy and stick to certain spots. Next I'm going to go into my Rimmel palette and I'm just going to go in with this pink, just going in hard. I'm going to put that on my in my crease. And I'm going to take it all the way to the inner corner. These are blending really nice. If you hear me doing that, just tapping off the excess. Okay, next I'm gonna deepen up the outer and inner corner, and I'm gonna go in with the shade right beside that bright pink. It's just this one. Just pack it on first and then slowly blend it out. Use a very light hand when you blend it. And I always keep that first brush handy, that big one. And just to always be going over the edges when you put a new color down to make sure that it's all blending seamlessly together. Okay, I'm gonna go into this next palette from this one and I'm gonna take this color, the deep fuchsia, fuchsia. Uh, which brush? I will take it on this brush. It's just a really small, tapered, even smaller than this one. It's not as fluffy. So. And I'll just go on the same places, but just a little bit deeper. Ooh, that's very dusty.
just pack it on. And then slowly blend out the edges. Yeah, see there's a fair bit of fallout there with that one. So it was a smart move to not do my foundation first. Always pack it on first and then blend it out. This one is really pigmented. Go back in. This is just a clean brush, just to do a little more blending. Okay, next I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer on this brush and I'm gonna carve out the crease a little bit or just brighten it up. Just place it and then look up. And wherever it hits when you look up, that's where you should cut it to. These can be really hard to get even, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we like to have it blended. I feel like this one goes way higher. Okay, I'll take this clean brush again with the lightest pink on there, tap it off, and just go over the crease again. Now, to decide what I'm going to use on the lid, hmm. I'll do this rose gold color. And I'm going to apply that with my Sigma short shader brush. Honestly, I'm going to. If you want it to be even more vibrant, use your setting spray and spray your brush first. a little bit wet and then it will pick up more product. That's not quite as bright as I was hoping, but I'll put something else on top. Go in with your big brush, blend out the edges really, really lightly. So I'm going to take this first color, really light color, and just pop that on the very center. I'm just going to do it with my finger too because sometimes it makes it mm, actually not that bright. I have another palette here from CoverGirl that I'm gonna see if I can use this one. Yeah, that'll look nice, I think, as long as it's got some pigment. Ooh, that's pink. It's actually peachy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm a fan of that. That looks nice. And now just take your brush, tap out the edges, and then very lightly blend. I'm not getting the drama I'm wanting. Okay, I'm gonna deepen up the edges. Again, with this brush, I'm in the deep fuchsia color again. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with, just on the very eyeball, or ball of the eye with this shade, it's called Sunny's. And it'll just pop. Never mind, that did not pop. I'll go in with my highlighter. This will pop. That's what I'm talking about. Probably can't see it. Doesn't show up on camera as good as in person. But yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And keep blending. Okay, now that the eyes are just about done, I'm going to do my foundation and everything and then come back and do the under eyes and the rest of my face makeup. But, yeah, see? I don't know if you can tell, but there is a lot of fallout. I'll be back. Okay, so my foundation is on, and as you can see, I look pretty crazy. So I'll just finish my lower lash line now. And I will take this big brush again with the lightest pink that I started with before in this palette, this one. And I'll go run it under my lash line. Next I'm going to take this really flat shader brush from Luxie. It's the 221 called the Flat Definer. And I'm gonna go in with this palette with this deep fuchsia. Then I'm gonna take this brush with this color and just blend it out. So when I was editing, I realized that I had about an hour and a half worth of footage, so I guess I'm gonna have to speed this all up for my face makeup, and if, you, if anyone has questions, it's pretty much the exact same routine as my last video, but just comment and ask questions and I'll answer them there.
Splash Paradise in the shade Mystic Black. For my bottom lashes, I'm using, yeah, I know I'm high maintenance, I can't use the same for both, but the Essence, it's called Volume Stylus. And I like it for the bottom lashes because one, it doesn't flake, and two, it has a really tiny applicator brush thingy. So it's just really easy. I like how I said this was gonna be a natural look. Ain't natural. Not at all. Okay, for lips, I'm going to I should probably do something nude. Oh, that highlight though. I'm gonna go in with my NYX suede in soft spoken. It's like actually quite dark, but and I always like to put chapstick on before I do lip liner because it just makes it glide on better. I don't know if it makes it stay. I think it probably makes it stay for less long, but... For lipstick, I'm gonna go in with Peach Bop by, I think it's Maybelline. And I'm gonna touch up the brows a bit. Gimme Brow, shade three and a half. These are not sisters today, they are very distant cousins. I think that is about done. I will do something with my hair and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Just quickly straighten my hair and I think it turned out quite nice. It didn't take that long. Actually that's not true. It took quite a while. But I had a lot of fun doing it and yeah. All drugstore products pretty much, except for some of the face products weren't, but the eyes were completely drugstore. So for a very affordable price, you can get this look. And if you guys want to recreate it, I would love it if you would tag me and or send me your pictures, that'd be great. You can follow me on Instagram, just Tyson Aaron. And yeah, subscribe to my YouTube, that'd be really great. And like, maybe even share, it would help me out a lot. See you next time.